Hello guys, hope you're all doing well. After a couple of days break from the Manchester United experiment, I'm back and this is part 7 of the Class of 92. Now as you can see, Marcelino still in charge, he has been for two seasons now. And Guy Neville of course was vice captain, still is vice captain and now has been made the Manchester United key player. So first of all we're going to go to the transfers because another, yes another, member of the Class of 92 has left, he's gone. And that is Paul Scholes. He is left to join Stoke at a deal worth £178,000. And I must say, what a bargain that looks. So playing for Stoke, 37 appearances, 12 assists, 4 goals and a 7.26 average. Value 925k. No caps for England at either level. £13,500. He's a key player in the Stoke squad, wearing the number 7, and stats are good, but he just never had to what it, he needed to cut it at Manchester United. Having been punted out on loan to Bournemouth, Bristol City, Cardiff, he finally fled the field where he deserves to be playing, signed a three-year contract at Stoke, and he's looking pretty decent, so we'll keep tabs of him. Now, of course, as you know, Nicky Butt left to join Newcastle in a deal for a small fee. So we're just going to check on how he's doing. Now, he left for the same reason, because he wasn't getting games and he had fantastic stats and had been put out on loan to Fulham and West Ham in previous seasons. Now, look at that, guys. 26 under 21 cuts for England, 3 goals. But his value has soared. 9.25 million. We're just going to check the actual price. Considering that, look at that, guys. 825k left for... And he's now worth 9.25 million and a key player in the squad. With 33 appearances, 3 goals and 5 assists, he picks up a 7.12 average. He's only 23 years old, so of course coming to his prime, he's an industrious defensive midfielder and on a big £60,000 per week for a Newcastle United squad that didn't do too well. Contracted till 2025, he won't be going anywhere, I'm sure of that. Let's just check if he's captain or vice-captain. Nope, Tim Creel and David Santon. So we'll swiftly move on to Manchester United and the other players. Okay, so first actually we will go to the Premier League title. Now as you can see, Manchester United with the young lads crowned the champions of England again after 38 games. They won 27, drew 7, lost 4, only 4, 84 goals scored, 33 conceded and winning the title with a 51 goal difference and 88 points. None of the guys are in the under 21 squad so we'll go straight to the main squad and we will show you first Gary Neville. Now Gary Neville is unhappy and I'll show you why. He wants a new contract, there you go, as you can see, negatives in the public domain, wants a new deal due to good form, and obviously he's not getting it by Marcelino, so he is unhappy. Now let's look at his profile and see what he's done this season. 44 appearances, 1 goal, 6 assists, 16 yellow cards, 1 red card, and 4 player of the matches with a whopping 7.68 average. And he's becoming a bit of a legend at Manchester United now, he's... Of course, played over 120 games for the club. He's got 16 full England caps and 18 under-21 caps and one goal. On £68,000 per week. Contract with three years remaining. So, is this about greed? Is this the Raheem Sterling of the class of 92? Three years remaining and he wants a new whopping contract from £68,000 per week. He is valued at a monster £25 million now. Now this is interesting, are they going to give him it? Is Marcelino going to cave? Or is he going to sell him and not give up and give in and give him his demands? Where will Gary Neville be in part 8 of the Class of 92? We will find out soon. So Phil Neville also unhappy and the reason he's unhappy is because he wants to leave for first team football. I guess you can see that, why, why would you not want to leave if you're not playing? Especially when you're valued at 11.5 million, have three full caps for your country and 33 under 21 caps. But he's on a low wage of 18.500 pounds and only on a rotational squad status. 
He's got one year left on his contract, so if it was me and I was in charge, I'd be cashing in on that 11.5 million value and selling him, considering he only made under 20 appearances in the first team this season with a 6.56 average. I think if I was in charge, I would be saying adios, Philip. So the next one we're going to look at, we have seen the Neville brothers, we've seen the release and progress of Nicky Butt and Paul Scholes. It's time to go to Sir David Beckham. Now David Beckham, he got the second most assists in the league this season and he got the highest average in the whole entire Premier League this season, guys. That's how good David Beckham has done. Look at that staggering wage. I did not see it when I had a review and looked at my notes. £300,000 per week, Davy Beckham. Whoa! With a key player squad status, £34 million he's worth. Valued at 5 international caps, 19 and 4 goals on the under 21s. 49 appearances in all competitions, including the Champions League or in Europe for Manchester United. 4 goals, 21 assists, as expected by David Beckham. 10 player of the matches, now 7.95 humongous average David Beckham is world class look at those stats you're almost drooling at the thought of having him in your team whoa unreal quality 300,000 pounds absolutely nuts Marcelino has obviously just dished out the money to him giving him a contract for another four years crazy so the final one we'll look at is, of course, Mr. Ryan Giggs himself, the assistant manager of Manchester United these days. Currently injured for three to five weeks, so we'll see how he has got on. He's the only one out of the six that has never been loaned out. He's only played for Manchester United. He's got 21 caps for Wales, 8 goals, 17 and 5 for the under-21 side. £130,000 a week and a mammoth 33 and a half million pounds value with 37 games being played this season and a 7.52 average Ryan Giggs is absolutely quality so guys that's part 7 of the class of 92 done it'll be very interesting regarding the Phil Neville and Gary Neville situation were both are unhappy. One for not getting a new deal, one for wanting first team football. Will they get their new contract and will they get first team football? Or will they be past as new by the time we record part 8? Also, with Giggs and Beckham being so good and valued so high, will any of them ever leave? Who knows? But Marcelino's still the manager, Falcao's the captain, and Gary Neville's the vice captain. The champions of England, the class of 92. Part 8 will come to you on Monday. And remember guys, when it gets to part 10, I'm taking control. Whichever of the Class 92 are still there, they will be in my first team and I'm taking control. And I'm going to try and win as much as I can with them. Thanks for tuning in guys. This is an exciting episode. It's an exciting series and I'm joined recording it. I'll be back on Monday and I'll see you then. Take care.